All right, hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can composite snow in a realistic way using stock footage. The stock footage is from bjfxpo.com. There's four different categories in this collection. We got close-ups, mid, wide, and bird's eye view. I will have links in the description. But um, yeah, let's get started on this tutorial. All right, so I am using a stock footage. So firstly, I'm going to find the part I want to put the snow on top. All right, that looks good to me. I'm going to pre-compose this shot by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and C, and just call it footage pre -com. Then I'm gonna go into effects and search for 3D camera tracker. Drag and drop it onto the footage pre -com player. All right, once that's done, you can check your average error. Mine is one pixel, so it's, it's not bad for what I need to use it for. I'm going to select a number of points and right click and create null and camera. You can see it's tracked pretty well. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the collection and I'm gonna grab a close up. I'm gonna grab the first one, drag it in on top. Then I'm gonna make it into a 3D layer. And as you can see, it's going to track back. So you want to make sure that by the end, it covers the whole frame. So this is what it looks like with just the close-up layer up front. Now I'm going to grab a mid snow and I'm going to drag it in below my close-up because I want my close-up to be the top layer that's in front. I'm going to make this mid layer into a free layer as well. And then press P and move it back slightly. Then I'm going to go to the last frame and I'm going to make sure that it's large enough for the last frame to cover it. I'm going to add the smaller pieces of snow that would be seen in the back around here. So for that, I'm going to grab a wide shot of the snow, grab it to the bottom. I'm going to make it into a 3D layer again. I'm going to press P and move it back in Z space. Then I'm going to go to the last frame, scale this up. So it just about covers the whole frame. All right, now one more thing I did for this shot, I did a little color correction. So I'm gonna press Ctrl, Alt and Y, rename this to CC, meaning color correction. I've added a hue and saturation on top. I decreased the saturation on that. Then I've added a curves adjustment and I've slightly made the shot a little bit darker just to kind of mimic that um, cloudy so it wouldn't be as vibrant like the sun was out. All right, and now I'm going to isolate my footage and click on my snow layer. Then I'm going to look for uh, the tint effect, drag it on to the snow layer. I'm going to find a brighter spot and just replace my white to the um, snow from the footage. Then I'm going to just copy this and paste it onto the other ones. And that just kind of blends the snow elements together with the real snow. Now one thing you could also do and you might have to end up doing for your shots is you want to mask out certain parts of your scene. All right, so for that, I'm going to duplicate this comp, bring it up. I'm going to delete the camera tracker and I'm going to search for Mocha. I'm going to grab in the Mocha ACC, drop it on this pre-comp, click on the Mocha. All right, so I'm gonna go to the last frame. I'm just gonna zoom up by pressing Z and using my left mouse click. Then I'm gonna press on the spline and I'm going to create a Bezier spline. Just click here to make a rough mask. You can also adjust it. So I'm just gonna adjust it slightly. You can press your Z to zoom in and the middle click on your mouse to check everything is okay. And then I'm going to track backwards. All right, as you can see, it didn't do the best job. So I'm going to go to the frame where it was last good up to around, well, only a couple of frames. And I'm going to add a keyframe. I'm going to go to around here and I'm going to adjust these points to again fit with the mask. Then I'm going to scroll back and see if that fixed it. Then I'm going to go to the end where we lost seat, add a keyframe on there, see if it works in between these two keyframes. I'm going to have to move it slightly, just very slightly, as well as here. All right, and that looks good. So I'm going to save it by pressing Ctrl and S and exit. Then I'm going to go into matte and create a mask. I'm going to make sure I cut to the frame where you first see it by pressing Alt and beginning bracket. And you can also just feather it slightly, maybe like by four pixels. 
And there you have it. That's a quick way of rotoscoping a object using a mocha. And that's the final shot of the snow. And that's the end of the tutorial. I will be covering more on compositing snow because there's a lot of different scenarios where there are different techniques needs to be involved when composing snow. For example, like interior shots or like in this case exterior shots or daytime like this one or nighttime. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.